Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to chat through the differences in canny cross line lengths. Um, we stock two different lines at Dog Fits that we manufacture ourselves in the UK. One is the short line and one is the long line. And we're often asked by our customers, you know, what's the difference? Why should I choose one over the other? Um, please help. So we thought we'd just put this together on a video and hopefully this um, will enlighten you as well. So first of all, we'll take the short line. So this is a dog fit short canny cross line. It's 1.2 meters long when fully stretched and about 80 centimeters when unstretched. It's designed for canny cross and it has a super strong bungee section in it. So when would you use a short line? If you were going to be canny crossing with your dog um, at a park run, for example, um, in that instance, you would need to have a short line because that's one of the rules of park run. So um, that would be an obvious choice. Also, if you were a beginner to canny cross, you weren't sure about your dog pulling out consistently in front of you. Um, or even if you were an experienced canny crosser, but you know that your dog sometimes has a tendency to drop back. In those circumstances, we would recommend that you go for a short line. It means that you're not going to be, you know, when the dog is pulling out in front of you, it still will be far enough away that you won't trip over it. But also if your dog does drop back, you won't be gathering up the line because it's too long. So uh, a lot of people run in short lines for that very reason, that they know they're not going to have to end up holding the line. We've also found that if, you know, if you have a particularly nervous or reactive dog, uh, or you might be running in a, in a big group, it might be your preference to have a short line so your dog is closer to you um, and you know, you've know you got a little bit more control and then you can help pull them in. The final reason why you might choose a short line is if your dog was running in a long harness, for example. So something like a non-stop free motion harness or a zero DC, where the attachment point is right back by the, the dog's tail. So in that instance, you know, you might find that another, if we're going for the longer line, another two meters would mean that your dog is going to be very far away from you. Um, so if your dog is in a long harness, you might decide that the short line is, is long enough for the two of you to be running consistently together. And actually my own personal preference is I, I always run in a short line for that very reason. So going on to our longer lines and this is our long line, it's difficult to show you in the, in the camera, but this will stretch to two meters. And when unstretched, it is about 1.4 meters long. So um, a really nicely, they're both obviously designed for canny cross. Um, but what conditions would you decide to go for a two meter line? So for example, if you were running in a canny cross um, specific event, so only for canny crossers, Sometimes the ruling is there that you need to have all the dogs on a two meter line. So it's a completely level playing field. So I would always check before you enter that there is no stipulation um, from your race organizer. You would definitely go for a two meter line if you're, you had a really strong pulling dog. It might be that you are particularly tall um, and you know that your dog is gonna run out consistently in front of you. It might be that you have that preference that you want your dog to have that little bit more distance um, and a little bit more manoeuvrability. Um, there could be all sorts of reasons why you think that, um, that the, the longer line would be a better preference for you. And as I said, it's a good choice if you know that your dog is a consistent long puller, a strong puller, um, and it would be the right choice in those circumstances. So just to finish off about um, our own dog fit lines, and we supply our lines with um, two clips on them. We also supply them with a grab handle that is right by the, the clip that clips onto the dog's harness so that you can pull them in close if you need to. And the other unique, unique feature about our dog fit lines is that we have this rubber bungee section. So again, another bit of added security if you do need to pull your dog in close. So whenever you are canny crossing with your dog, always make sure that you have got a line that is specific for canny cross and one that does have a bungee section in it or some elasticity so that if your dog is pulling forward and suddenly jolts, you're not getting all of that jolt back to you. Um, but hopefully this has helped and it has shown you the differences between the two lines and why you would choose one over the other. Um, but as I said, it's, it can come down to personal preference um, but either way, um, 
we have both the options for you at DogFit um, and happy to help if you've got any further questions. And if you'd like to know more and, and keep up to date with hints and tips on kits and training practices, don't forget to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you.